11th Armored Cavalry Regiment The 11th Armored Cavalry Regiment, Black Horse Regiment, is a unit of the United States Army garrisoned at Fort Irwin, California. Although termed an Armored Cavalry Regiment, it is being reorganized as a multi-component heavy brigade combat team. The regiment has served in the Philippine-American War, World War Roman II, the Vietnam War, Cold War, Operation Desert Storm Scout Platoons, and Operation Iraqi Freedom Iraq War. The 11th ACR serves as the opposing force opfer for the Army and Marine Task Forces and foreign military forces that train at the National Training Center. The OPFR trained U.S. Army forces in mechanized desert warfare following a Soviet-era style threat until June 2002, when the OPFR and the 11th ACR changed to portraying an urban-slash-asymmetrical warfare style of combat U.S. soldiers are facing in operations abroad. From June to December 2003, members of the 11th ACR deployed to Afghanistan, where they helped to develop and train the armor, and mechanized infantry battalions of the Afghan National Army. These specialized units would defend the Afghan capital during the country's constitutional convention. In January 2004, the 11th ACR deployed to Iraq. The 11th ACR was not reorganized under the U.S. Army Combat Arms Regimental System, but has been reorganized under the U.S. Army Regimental System. History 11th Cavalry Regiment The regiment was constituted on 2 February 1901 in the regular army as the 11th Cavalry Regiment and was organized on 11 March 1901 at Fort Myer, Virginia. The regiment participated in the 1916 Pancho Villa expedition under the command of William Jones Nicholson. For an operational history of the regiment, see the separate squadron histories below. At the start of World War Roman II, the 11th Cavalry was stationed at the Presidio of Monterey in California. They moved to Fort Ord in stages from 16 to 27 January 1940 and again to Camp Clayton on 15 April to 15 May 1940 for temporary training. They participated in maneuvers at Fort Louis in Washington from 4 to 29 August 1940 and returned to the Presidio of Monterey on 31 August 1940, where they were detached from the 2nd Cavalry Division and resumed its status as a separate regiment. They next moved to Camp Sealy in California on 7 November 1941, and again to Live Oaks, California on 24 July 1941. They then returned to Camp Sealy on 17 September 1941 and to Camp Lockett on 10 December 1941. They were next assigned to the United States Army Armored Force on 12 June 1942 and relocated to Fort Benning in Georgia on 10 July 1942, where they prepared to be inactivated and reorganized. The 11th Cavalry Regiment was deactivated on 15 July 1942 at Fort Benning, Georgia. Personnel and equipment concurrently transferred to the 11th Armored Regiment with concurrent development of the 11th Cavalry Group. The remainder of 11th Cavalry was disbanded on 26 October 1944. 11th Armored Regiment 11th Armored Regiment was constituted on 11 July 1942 in the National Army, assigned to the 10th Armored Division, and organized at Fort Benning on 15 July 1942 from the personnel and equipment of the 11th Cavalry Regiment. The motto on the unit insignia is Allens, which means let's go in French. The regiment moved to Murfreesboro, Tennessee on 22 June 1943, and then Fort Gordon on 5 September 1943. 11th Armored Regiment was broken up on 20 September 1943, and its elements were distributed as follows. HHC 11th Armored Regiment and 1st and 2nd Battalions were reorganized as the 11th Tank Battalion in the 10th AD. 3rd Battalion, 11th Armored Regiment was reorganized and redesignated as the 712th Tank Battalion and relieved from assignment to the 10th AD 712th Tank Battalion was inactivated at Camp Kilmer. New Jersey on 27 October 1945 and redesignated the 525th Medium Tank Battalion. 
It was activated on 10 September 1948 at Fort Louis, Washington. 525th Medium Tank Battalion was redesignated as 95th Tank Battalion on 4 February 1950, assigned to 7th Armored Division, and activated at Camp Roberts, California on 24 November 1950, and inactivated there on 15 November 1953. Reconnaissance Company was reorganized and redesignated as Troop E 90th Cavalry Reconnaissance Squadron, which maintained a separate history thereafter. Maintenance and service companies were disbanded. 11th Tank Battalion As part of the 10th Armored Division, 11th Tank Battalion shipped out from the New York Port of Embarkation on 13 September 1944 and landed in France on 23 September 1944. The battalion participated in the Rhineland, Ardennes, Alsace, and Central Europe campaigns and was located at Skangau, Bavaria, Germany on 14 August 1945. The battalion returned to the Hampton Roads port of embarkation on 13 October 1945, was inactivated at Camp Patrick Henry, Virginia on the same day, and was relieved from assignment to the 10th 80. 11th Cavalry Group Mechanized HHT, 11th Cavalry Regiment, was redesignated on 19 April 1943 as HHT 11th Cavalry Group and was activated at Camp Anza, California on 5 May 1943. At that time, the 36th Cavalry Reconnaissance Squadron and 44th Cavalry Reconnaissance Squadron were attached. The group was then moved to Fort Bragg on 31 January 1944 and again to Atlantic Beach, Florida on 15 March 1944 for amphibious training. They then moved to Camp Gordon on 1 June 1944 and then departed the New York Port of Embarkation on 29 September 1944 and arrived in England on 10 October 1944 and landed in France on 26 November 1944. They moved to the Netherlands on 8 December 1944, went into the line in Germany on 12 December 1944 and protected the Roer River sector. They recrossed into the Netherlands on 3 February 1945 and re-entered Germany on 27 February 1945 on the left flank of the U.S. 84th Infantry. The group then held a defensive line along the Rhine River near Dusseldorf on 12 March 1945 under the Roman 13 Corps and crossed the Rhine at Wessel on 1 April 1945. During the campaign in northwestern Europe, Troop B of the 44th Cavalry Reconnaissance Squadron served as a mechanized escort and security force for the headquarters of General Dwight D. Eisenhower, Supreme Commander of the Allied Expeditionary Forces. In August 1945, 11th Cavalry Group Headquarters was located at Grosselsen, Germany. HHT 11th Cavalry Group was converted and reorganized as HHT 11th Constabulary Regiment on 1 May 1946. During this period, the regimental headquarters was located in Regensburg. As a constabulary unit, the 11th Constabulary Regiment patrolled occupied Germany and performed law enforcement and keeping of the public order missions. HHT 11th Constabulary Regiment was further reorganized and redesignated as HHC, 11th Armored Cavalry Regiment on 30 November 1948. 11th Tank Group HHT 11th Tank Group was constituted on 19 July 1943 in the National Army. It was activated at Camp Campbell, Kentucky on 28 July 1943 as a separate group. It was reorganized and redesignated as HHC. 11th Armored Group on 5 December 1943. During the war, armored groups such as the 11th were used as administrative headquarters for the numerous independent tank battalions fielded in the European Theater of Operations. HHC, 11th Armored Group was converted and redesignated HHD. 1st Constabulary Regiment on 1 May 1946. HHD, 1st Constabulary Regiment was inactivated on 20 September 1947 in Germany.
11th Armored Cavalry Regiment. Reassembly and organizing of 11th ACR was completed on 30 November 1948 by reconstitution and reorganization of elements of the 11th Cavalry Regiment and HHD. First Constabulary Regiment. HHD First Constabulary Regiment was converted, redesignated, and consolidated into 11th ACR as HHD. Third Battalion, 11th ACR on 30 November 1948. 11th Tank Battalion was consolidated into 11th ACR on 8 January 1951. 95th Tank Battalion was consolidated into 3rd Battalion, 11th ACR on 1 October 1958. Air Troop inactivated 20 March 1972 in Vietnam. 2 Squadron inactivated 6 April 1972 in Vietnam. Air Troop and two squadron activated 17 May 1972 in Germany. Around 1984, Air Troop was enlarged and became the 4th Squadron Thunder Horse, also known as the Combat Aviation Squadron, placed 17 June 1986 under the United States Army Regimental System, inactivated 15 October 1993, 15 March 1994 in Germany, Activated 16 October 1994, Les 3rd and 4th Squadrons, the Air Defense Artillery Battery and the Howitzer Batteries, 1st and 2 Squadrons at Fort Irwin, California, California. West Germany 1957-64. As part of the gyroscope unit rotations, the 11th ACR was sent to West Germany in March 1957, for another round at the border surveillance mission along the Iron Curtain, replacing the 6th Armored Cavalry Regiment. Regimental headquarters and 1st Squadron were located in Straubing while the 2nd Squadron was stationed in Landshut and the 3rd Squadron in Regensburg. The regiment's border surveillance mission was along the German-Czech frontier. In 1964, the 11th ACR returned to the United States and would be bound for Vietnam within two years. South Vietnam 1966-72 Arrival in Country The Black Horse Regiment arrived in Vung Tau, South Vietnam on 7 September 1966 and was commanded by Colonel William W. Cobb. Operation Hickory 7, 15 October 1966 produced the first enemy casualties inflicted by the 3rd Squadron and elements of the 919th Engineer Company in the vicinity of Puhoa. Black Horse Base Camp Atlanta was the code name for the establishment of Black Horse Base Camp, the new home of the 11th Armored Cavalry Regiment in Vietnam. Black Horse Base Camp was located approximately 6 kilometers. 3.7 miles south of the village of Chuan Lok on Route 2, and approximately 2 kilometers, 1.2 miles southeast of the village of Long Goya. Saigon is approximately 35 kilometers, 22 miles to the west along RT1. The operation began on 20 October and concluded on 3 November 1966. Stanton's Vietnam Order of Battle lists the following locations for the 11th Armored Cavalry Regiment's headquarters in Vietnam. Bayan Hoa, September 1966, November 1966. Long Binh, December 1966, February 1967. Black Horse Base Camp Slash Chuan, Lock March 1967, January 1969. Lai February 1969. Long Jio, March 1969, September 1969. Thai Hoa, October 1969, June 1970. Thai July 1970, March 1971. Operation Cedar Falls. From January until 18 May 1967, the regiment conducted three major search and destroy operations. These operations would later be known as reconnaissance and force RIF operations. The first of these operations commenced on 8 January 1967 and was known as Operation Cedar Falls. It continued until 24 January 1967. The first and second squadrons operated in the infamous Iron Triangle region near Ben Ket employing search and destroy tactics, screening and blocking, and security in attacks on successive objectives. 
Operation Junction City Operation Junction City I and Roman II involved the 1st and 3rd Squadrons. It began on 18 February 1967 and ran through 15 April 1967. This operation took these squadrons to the headquarters of the Central Office South Vietnam Cosmin believed to be located in Bin Duong Province with the objective of destroying this important headquarters. This joint mission conducted with the first Australian. Extensive RIF operations were conducted as well. Operation Manhattan Commencing on 23 April 1967, the third operation titled Operation This Zone was a long-suspected regional headquarters of the Viet Cong. In a series of reconnaissance and force operations, 60 tunnel complexes were uncovered. 1884 fortifications were destroyed. 621 tons of rice was evacuated during these operations. Operation Manhattan ended on 11 May 1967. Operation Kid Hawk Beginning in April 1967 and running through 21 March 1968, the regiment was tasked to secure and pacify Long Khan District. This year-long mission was called Operation Kid Hawk. It achieved three objectives. Viet Cong VC were kept from interfering with travel on the main roads. Vietnamese were provided medical treatment in civic action programs like MedCap and DentCap. And finally, RIF operations were employed to keep the VC off balance, making it impossible for them to mount offensive operations. 1967 From the summer of 1967 until the winter, the regiment was led by Colonel Roy W. Farley. Operation Emporia I and Roman II was a road clearing operation with limited RIF missions by the 1st and 3rd Squadrons in Long Khan District. Operation Valdosta, I and Roman II was a regimental size operation. Its purpose was to provide security at polling places during elections and to maintain reaction forces to counter VC agitation. As a result of the operation, 84.7% of eligible voters cast ballots in Long Khan District in the first general election and 78% in the second. Operation Quicksilver Operation Quicksilver involved the 1st and 2nd Squadrons of the 11th Armored Cavalry. Its purpose was to secure routes that moved logistical personnel of the 101st Airborne Division between Binh Long and Tainan provinces. Cordon, search and RIF missions were also performed. Operation Fargo Operation Fargo ran from 21 December 1967 until 21 January 1968. This regimental size operation conducted RIF in Bin Long and Tay Ninh provinces and opened Route 13 to military traffic for the very first time. Tet Offensive The early part of 1968 was marked by the most ambitious and emboldened offensive attack coordinated by the VC and NVA in the history of the war. The Tet Offensive was designed to coincide with the Vietnamese New Year. Operation Adairsville Operation Adairsville began on 31 January 1968. Word was received by the Roman II Field Force HQ to immediately redeploy to the Longbin slash Bai and Hoa area to relieve installations threatened by the Tet Offensive. At 1400 hours 2, 0 p.m. the 1st Squadron was called to move from their position south of the Michelin rubber plantation to the Roman II Field Force headquarters. The 2nd Squadron moved from north of the plantation to Roman III Corps POW compound where enemy soldiers were sure to attempt to liberate the camp. The 3rd Squadron moved from Enloc to Roman III Corps Army, Republic of Vietnam Arvin headquarters. It took only 14 hours and 80 miles to arrive in position after first being alerted. Operation Alcorn Cove The security operation in the Long Bin Slash Bayan Hoa area and the area around Black Horse Base Camp by the 1st and 2nd Squadrons is continue under Operation Alcorn Cove, which began on 22 March 19. This combined mission with the Arvin 18th Division and 25th Division was a twofold operation of security and RIF. Operation Tone Thang was an extension of Alcorn Cove. 
that combined operation involved the 1st and 25th Infantry Divisions. From April 1968 to January 1969, the 11th Cavalry was commanded Colonel later Major General George S. Patton Roman IV, the son of General George S. Patton, Jr. 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 Workhorse, the 3rd Squadron. K Troop was part of the 3rd Squadron and known as Killing K Troop. 3rd Squadron's nickname was Workhorse. Shortly after its arrival in Vietnam, the 3rd Squadron engaged the Viet Cong for the first time. The squadron was awarded a meritorious unit citation for this period. The Tet Offensive of 1968 gave the squadron a chance to fight the enemy's troop formations in open combat. In Bai and Ho, the 3rd Squadron drove the enemy forces from the area near Roman III Corps headquarters. Its action was crucial in smashing the enemy's offensive. On 20 October 2009, President Barack Obama presented a presidential unit citation to Troop Commander Captain John B. Poindexter and all veterans of a Troop, 1st Squadron, 11th Cavalry for their heroism along the Cambodian border on 26 March 1970. Brigadier General John Bonson, a recipient of the Distinguished Service Cross, served with the 11th ACR in Vietnam, commanding first the regiment's Air Cavalry Troop, and later its 1st Squadron. Full the gap. Training the force. Reactivated again on 26 October 1994, the 11th Armored Cavalry Regiment now serves as the Army's opposing force at the National Training Center. The regiment portrays a determined opposing force that trains U.S. forces in the basic principles of Army operations and challenges all the battlefield operating systems. As the 2nd Brigade Tactical Group, the squadron trains brigade and battalion task forces during 10 rotations a year at the National Training Center. Current Organization 1st Squadron 1st Squadron, 11th Armored Cavalry, Iron Horse, was activated as a horse squadron at Fort Myer, Virginia, in 1901. It has served in the Philippines, Mexico, Europe, and Vietnam. It is now organized as a combined arms battalion and comprises one of the two maneuver elements of the 11th ACR. It is organized around a headquarters and headquarters troop, HHT, and four line troops, two infantry, two armor with a total authorized strength of 720 soldiers. It is equipped with the Opera surrogate vehicle, an M901 ITV highly modified with an M2 slash M3 Bradley fighting vehicle turret to represent the BMP Minus, two armored personnel carrier, and the OSP Opera surrogate tank vehicle, a vehicle based on the Opera surrogate vehicle, which can simulate a wide spectrum of threat tanks. Using this equipment and configuration, the squadron performs the first of its two primary missions, acting as a non-permissive opposing force offered during 10 Forscom combat training rotations each year. The squadron's second mission is to deploy and fight as a combined arms battalion for various contingency operations throughout the world. In order to support this mission, the squadron must also maintain, operate and remain proficient on the Mon Aon Abrams tank and in two Atwell Bradley fighting vehicle. Commanded by Lieutenant Colonel Hennis, the approximately 400 men of the squadron trained nine months before becoming the first squadron to leave for the regiment's inaugural deployment to the Philippines. Arriving in January 1902, troops on D patrolled Samar, where they fought the regiment's first engagement. In 1905, the regiment relocated to Fort Des Moines, Iowa. In 1906, the 1st Squadron remained in Des Moines while the rest of the regiment deployed to Cuba as part of President Theodore Roosevelt's Army of Pacification. In 1909, the 1st Squadron rejoined the rest of the regiment in Fort Oglethorpe, Georgia. On 12 March 1916, the regiment received orders to join General John J. Pershing as part of the Mexican punitive expedition to pursue Pancho Villa. Nine days later, the 1st Squadron led the way, arriving in Mexico on 21 March. Later, the 1st Squadron rode 22 hours straight to the rescue of United States forces besieged in peril. The 11th ACR was not deployed during World War I, 
During this period, 1st Squadron conducted port operations in Newport News, Virginia. After the armistice, the regiment, with its predominantly black horses, was stationed at the Presidio of Monterey in California. The Army reorganizations for World War Roman II eliminated the horse cavalry in 1940, and 1st Squadron traded in saddles and hooves for tracks and steel. The regiment was inactivated 15 July 1942. The personnel and equipment of the former 1st and 2nd Squadrons was combined to form the newly designated 11th Tank Battalion, which later fought at the Battle of the Bolt. On 1 April 1951, the regiment was reactivated as the 11th Armored Cavalry Regiment as part of the build-up for the Korean War. The regiment served in Fort Carson, Colorado and Fort Knox, Kentucky until deploying to Germany to replace the 6th ACR along the Czechoslovakian border. In July 1964, 1st Squadron, along with the regiment, transferred to Fort Meade, Maryland. In 1966, the regiment deployed to Vietnam. The 1st Squadron earned the Valorous Unit Awards twice, the Republic of Vietnam Cross of Gallantry three times, and the Presidential Unit Citation. It was during the Vietnam War that the 11th ACR was granted authorization to wear its distinctive unit patch. President Barack Obama awarded Alpha Troop of the 1st Squadron the Presidential Unit Citation on 20 October 2009, in recognition of a rescue mission 26 March 1970. In February 1971, 1st Squadron was inactivated, then reactivated in May 1972, at Downs Barracks in Fulda, Germany. During the Southwest Asia Campaign, Iron Horse operated Camp Colt, a scout training camp for reservists reporting to active duty. Following Desert Storm, the regiment deployed to Kuwait in support of Operation Positive Force from June 1991 to September 1991. First Squadron, along with the rest of the regiment, was inactivated at Fulda, Germany in March 1994. The 1-63rd Armored Regiment, Fort Irwin, California was reflagged 1st Squadron, 11th Armored Cavalry Regiment in October 1994 with the mission of opposing forces for the National Training Center and continues to do so today. On 30 January 2005, 1st Squadron left Fort Irwin for Iraq. After spending about three weeks in Kuwait, the squadron moved to Camp Teji on the outskirts of Baghdad. The squadron was assigned the task of patrolling the Adhamiya sector of Baghdad, a suburb of Baghdad just north of Sadr City. The squadron was also assigned the task of training Iraqi army units to ultimately take over control of the sector. On 21 May 2005, their new task was to patrol the Abu Ghraib Rabe sector just west of Baghdad and to provide perimeter security for Abu Ghraib prison. While in the Abu Ghraib sector, 1-11 ACR participated in Operation Thundercat along with the 256th Infantry Brigade of the Louisiana Army National Guard. The operation focused on disrupting IED cells in and around the Abu Ghraib sector, west of Baghdad. During this operation, 1-11 ACR uncovered five separate weapons caches, detained four suspected insurgents, and uncovered $2,200 in U.S. currency. The squadron redeployed to Fort Irwin on 22 January 2006, where it resumed its opposing forces mission for the National Training Center. During its deployment, the Nevada Army National Guard's 1st Squadron, 221st Cavalry, the 11th's former official roundout unit, took over the duty of OPFER. 2nd Squadron The 2nd Squadron is part of the Army's opposing force at the National Training Center, conducting battle operations in accordance with published doctrine and combat instructions. While in its role as the 801st Brigade Tactical Group, the regiment trains brigade and battalion task forces during 10 rotations a year at the National Training Center, Fort Irwin, California. Additionally, between rotations, the squadron conducts realistic, live fire-based training at the platoon and Bradley crew level. The 1st Battalion Mechanized, 52 Infantry was inactivated on 26 October 1994 
and the Tude squadron was reactivated in its place by reflagging the existing unit. The Tude squadron Eagle Horse was activated on 2 February 1901 at Fort Myer, Virginia, and its military campaign geographic areas include the Philippines, Mexico, Europe, Vietnam, and support in Southwest Asia. Second Squadron deployed with the regiment to the Philippines to suppress insurgent forces during November 1901. This deployment was commemorated by the Bolos becoming part of the Black Horse Crest. The Black Horse Regiment settled in Fort Des Moines, Iowa in 1905. The Second Squadron deployed to Cuba, 16 October 1906, as part of President Theodore Roosevelt's Army of Pacification. Their mission was to patrol and be a show of force. Eagle Horse joined with the General J. Pershing Pancho Villa expedition in a punitive action against Mexico, with orders to pursue Pancho Villa on 12 March 1916. Major Robert L. Howes, Commander 2nd Squadron, led the last mounted charge on 5 May 1916, placing the Eagle Horse Squadron action as a milestone in military history. The Black Horse Regiment patrolled the U.S.-Mexican border from 1919 through 1942. The regiment received the name Black Horse and a distinctive coat of arms while stationed at the Presidio of Monterey. World War Roman II, Min II, the regiment inactivated as a horse regiment on 15 July 1942 at Fort Benning, Georgia. The headquarters and headquarters troop was redesignated on 19 April 1943 as the Headquarters and Headquarters Troop, 11th Cavalry Group Mechanized. The former squadrons of the 11th Cavalry were sent to fight with the 10th Armored Division and the 90th Infantry Division overseas. The new HHD 11th Cavalry Group Mechanized drew new squadrons, the 36th and 44th, after guarding the U.S. southeastern coast from March 1944 until 1 June 1944, the group moved to Camp Gordon, Georgia to begin training for overseas deployment. The regiment arrived in the United Kingdom on 10 October 1944. The regiment entered France on 23 November 1944. Moving through France and Germany, the Black Horse was assigned to the 9th U.S. Army and attached to Roman 13 Corps, whose flank the Black Horse screamed during the Corps sweep from the rower to the Rhine. 3rd Squadron Post-Vietnam, the 3rd Squadron workhorse was based at McFeeters Barracks in Bad Hersfeld, Germany, about 40 kilometers north of Fulda. The 3rd Squadron was organized as an armored cavalry squadron like the 1st and 2nd Squadrons. HHT and I, K and L troops, Howitzer Battery, as well as in company, were organic to the squadron. Attached was the 58th Engineer Company. Bravo Battery, 2nd Battalion, 2nd Air Defense Artillery was also headquartered with the squadron. In the field, the attached units of the regiment like the 58th Engineer Company usually operated over a wide area, with smaller detachments dedicated to supporting the armored cavalry squadrons of the regiment. 4th Squadron the 11th Armored Cavalry Regiment, ACR, arrived in Vietnam in September 1966. The Air Cavalry Troop, ACT, organic to the regiment, arrived in December of the same year with a complement of UH-1C gunships and UH-1D command and control slicks. Early in January 1967, ACT was flying combat support for the regiment's missions. It was after this time that ACT earned its nickname Thunder Horse because of the distinctive roaring sound of rotor wash over the rice paddies and the unit's distinctive black horse insignia. In July 1968, Air Cavalry Troop was reorganized into Air Troopette, consisting of nine H-1G Cobra gunships, designated Reds and nine H-6 Light Observation Helicopters LOH, designated Whites, which flew in pairs as target acquisition and destroy missions as pinks and an aerial rifle platoon, officially designated Iroquois. Air troops served with distinction, earning the Republic of Vietnam Cross of Gallantry with Palm Vietnam 24 February 19 May 1971, Vago 42 1972, 
and the first platoon of it earned the Presidential Unit Citation DUC HOA 12 Mar 1 April 1969, Dago 69, 1969, in addition to the regiment's awards and streamers. In 1969, a trooper from Air Troop, SFC Rodney J. T. Yano posthumously earned the Medal of Honor. The aviation assets of the regiment were deactivated on 20 March 1972 and left Vietnam. The regiment was reactivated on 17 May 1972. The regiment's new C and C squadron was given the task of providing aerial surveillance of the 385-kilometer Iron Curtain, which separated East and West Germany. C and C squadron consisted of its headquarters elements, as well as air troop, at Slash Ott, with its three U H minus one H twenty one, H minus one SMOD, and thirteen O H minus fifty eight A, eight A, Combat Aviation Slash Support Troop, Troop, Cat Slash Sint Air, with its thirteen U H minus one H, including an aerial mine platoon, AMP, and six O H minus fifty eight A fifty eighth Combat Engineer Company, Sec. The 340th Army Security Agency, ASA, and the 84th Army Band. A detachment of two HOH 58 were assigned to the 2nd Squadron at Bad Kissingen and the 3rd Squadron at Bad Hersfeld. In 1981, Air Troop, under the command of Major Joseph W. Sutton, won the Draper Cavalry Award. It was the first time an aviation unit had won the award. Later, under the command of Major Michael K. Mahaffey, Air Troop was recognized as the Army Aviation Association of America's AL Unit of the Year. On 1 June 1982, Command and Control Squadron was redesignated as Regimental Combat Aviation Squadron, ARCAS, and officially as the Combat Aviation Squadron, Provisional 11th Armored Cavalry Regiment, and nicknamed Life Force. In the spring of 1984, Air Troop was once again named AAU Aviation Unit of the Year. On 14 June of the same year, under the guidance of the Department of the Army's Cavalry 86 and the new J-Series Modified Table of Organization and Equipment, MTO elements of AT and CAT were combined to form the new 11th Combat Aviation Squadron, 11th CAS, named Thunder Horse to honor the history of those Air Cavalry Troopers who had served before. The new squadron consisted of a headquarters and a headquarters troop to include an aircraft maintenance platoon. ABM designated Crazy Horse, Alpha Troop, which was assigned a combat support aviation role, was the last aerial mine platoon in the Army. It used a Yosemite SAM, clad in a cavalry uniform for its mascot, and was called the Miner's Bravo Troop, an attack helicopter troop used the old Cobra logo from it and later a bulldog, Charlie troop, called Tank Busters. An attack helicopter troop used the silhouette of a Soviet T-62 in an H-1 turret gun sight. With the motto grab him by the nose kick him in the ass and the 511th Military Intelligence Company. My slash Suey, Trojan horse which had replaced the 340th ASA. In 1984, three EH-1H were assigned to the 511th. The squadron's Sminus 4 section was known as Haba Horse. On 17 Jun 1986, the squadron aligned itself in accordance with the U.S. Army Regimental System USARs. Now flying UH-60s, OH-58Cs and H-1Fs, the squadron eventually ended up as HHTNOPQRS and ABM troops. On 9 November 1989, the wall fell, and by the 1st of March 1990, the squadron ceased border operations. Early on 10 April 1991, elements of the squadron were issued no notice deployment orders to self deploy from Fulda to Diyarbakir, Turkey, in support of Operation Provide Comfort. Task Force Thunder Horse deployed 15 UH-60 and 5 OH-58D along with crews and support personnel. During this period, the 511th MICUE was recognized as the best company. With the fall of the wall and the collapse of the Warsaw Pact, 
the regiment on 15 October 1993 to 15 March 1994 began the deactivation process of the unit. The regiment, less the 3rd and 4th squadrons, was reactivated in October 1994 at Fort Irwin, California. Support Squadron Support Squadron 11th ACR provides combat support slash combat service support to the 11th ACR and in TC Opposing Force and Conducts Deployment, Survivability and MOS Sustainment Training IOT ensure the success of the regiment, OPFER, and squadron. Pack Horse was activated in Germany under the command of LTC Ronald Kelly on 17 September 1985 to support the Black Horse as it patrolled the east-west German border along the Fulda Gap. The squadron's official name at that time was Combat Support Squadron CSS. The nickname Pack Horse is derived from the early days of the U.S. Cavalry, when soldiers went on campaigns accompanied by pack horses, additional horses and slash or mules that carried all their essential supplies. Everything from food to gunpowder to horseshoes were transported in this manner. Initial organization included five units headquarters and headquarters troop, maintenance troop, supply and transportation troop, medical troop, and the attached 54th Chemical Detachment. The squadron also operated the Regimental Material Management Center, which had the responsibility for the overall logistics state of the regiment. Elements of the squadron were based at both Fulda and Wildflecken. The squadron was large for a battalion-sized unit, as the maintenance troop alone had some 400 soldiers assigned. The pack horse provided logistical support during both the frequent regimental maneuvers of the Cold War and at gunnery exercises at Greifwalter, where the squadron operated for weeks at a time while the cavalry troops and tank companies rotated through the firing ranges. Squadron vehicles during the Cold War included 3-4-ton Nintendo 9 cups, 1 and 1-4-ton Nintendo 8 and Nintendo 10 pickup trucks, that often carried special purpose shelters mounting communications, medical, or maintenance equipment, hamps, Mate 8s, tanker trucks, and trucks carrying chemical decontamination equipment. A pair of M934 5 ton expansible vans, Expando vans, housed the squadron headquarters in the field. The squadron was also capable of highly specialized functions, such as the provision of potable water by filtering fresh water sources through purification units. On 3 October 1990, the two Germanys reunified. By December 1991, the Soviet Union dissolved, ending Squadron's six-year presence along the Iron Curtain. In August 1990, Iraq invaded Kuwait, prompting the United States to respond. On 16 May 1991, the Pack Horse received orders to deploy to Kuwait to support the regiment as it secured the country while it struggled to rebuild after the war. By October, the regiment had completed its mission and the Pack Horse returned to Fulda. As the need for U.S. forces in Europe decreased, the Pack Horse was inactivated on 15 February 1994, followed by the Black Horse on 15 March 1994. The 177th Forward Support Battalion was inactivated on 26 October 1994, becoming the Regimental Support Squadron, Pack Horse now carrying its new role with the U.S. Army's opposing forces at the National Training Center. Since its reactivation, Support Squadron has been the Forces Command Forcecom winner of the Philip A. Connolly Award for Garrison Food Service Excellence in FY 1992, 1993, and 1994. The squadron also won this same competition at the Department of the Army DA level in FY 1993. The squadron played a part in the regiment's selection as the only Army unit in the Department of Defense for the Phoenix Award for Maintenance Excellence in FY 1995, FY 1999, and FY 2000. Headquarters and Headquarters Troop was the winner of the DA Award for Maintenance Excellence for FY 1995 and FY 1996 in the Intermediate Equipment Density category, the only unit to do so in the 16-year history of the program. Maintenance Troop was recognized as the Salute Magazine Unit of the Year for 1995, 
The 58th Engineer Company placed fourth in Forscom in the DA Award for Maintenance Excellence in the Heavy Equipment Density category in FY 1995, and were third place winners in FY 1996 and FY 1997. The 511th Military Intelligence Company placed third in Forscom in the separate company category for the Army Supply Excellence Award and was the Starry Award winner for being the best company in the regiment. The squadron also won the FY2002 Forscom competition for both the Supply Support Activity SSA and Squadron Supply Operations. The SSA also subsequently received runner-up at DA level for FY2002. The squadron won the Forscom level in the Philip A. Connelly competition for best field feeding crew of FY2003. Supply slash trans and maintenance troops competed and won the Army Award for Maintenance Excellence in Forscom for FY2003. Both are competing at the DA level. The squadron also placed first in the Forscom level of Army Supply Excellence for FY2004 in Squadron Supply Operations and the SSA. Both are also competing at the DA level. Headquarters and Headquarters Troop Mission mm. Provide personnel, administrative, and logistical support to the regimental support squadron. Provide food service support to all in TC units in both the field and garrison. While providing this support, HHT will protect the force and provide superb quality of life for its troopers and families. Headquarters Platoon Headquarters Platoon's mission is to support the troop administration, logistics, and preparation for war. The platoon consists of the troop commander's staff. They are the orderly and training room, communications section, motor pool in BC room, unit supply, and arms room. The orderly room supports the troop in administration. The training room schedules training and maintains the troop readiness status. The motor pool supports the troop in organizational level maintenance. The NBC room supports the troop in nuclear, biological and chemical training, and the unit supply supports the troop in organizational supply and arms room. Also attached to the headquarters platoon are the cavalry scouts and mortar platoons. The cavalry scouts use high-speed maneuvering and advanced optical equipment to identify targets. The mortar platoon uses the heavy 120mm mortar system to provide long-range indirect fire. Field Regimental Dining Facility the Field Regimental Dining Facility of RDF Platoon supports 10 rotations per year. The mission is to provide Class I in the field for the 11th Armored Cavalry Regiment opposing force op for during all force on force rotations. Horse Detachment The 11th ACR Horse Detachment is a special ceremonial unit tasked with preserving the history and traditions of the regiment's original mounted cavalry troopers and is one of only six mounted units left in the active duty U.S. Army. The Horse Detachment represents the 11th ACR, Fort Irwin, and the United States Army at official ceremonies on post and regional community relations events and Army recruiting and community outreach objectives. They participate in the U.S. Cavalry Association's annual National Cavalry Competition against other active duty mounted units as well as civilian reenactors and have won the Pulaski Trophy for Most Outstanding Military Unit five times, 2021, 2019, 2018, 2012, and 2009. Maintenance Troop, Dense Troop. Maintenance Troop's mission is to provide Class Roman 9 support and conduct direct support maintenance for the 11th Armored Cavalry Regiment to ensure the regiment's success on the NTC battlefield. While providing this support, Maintenance Troop will protect the force and provide improved quality of life for its troopers and families. Empty First Platoon Headquarters Platoon consists of the Commander's Staff, Motor Pool, Shop Office, NBC Room, Orderly Room Technical Supply and Unit Supply. This is the largest platoon in the troop. The main mission of this platoon is to keep the troop ready for war at all times. The shop office is the backbone of direct support maintenance. The shop officer and the repair control sergeant direct all the maintenance support for the regiment. 
They order repair parts and track the parts from the time it is ordered to the time the part is received. They also track all maintenance jobs from initial inspection to actual repair to final inspection and pick up by the customer. Technical supply work 24-hour days, 7 days a week, providing Class Roman 9 repair parts to the offer. They provide serviceable assets, which include major assemblies, DL or depot level repairables, repairable exchange items, and ASL stockage. The mission of NBC Room is to provide nuclear, biological, and chemical training to the troop. The training room is in charge of planning and executing training for the entire troop. The orderly room provides administrative support to the whole troop. The supply room provides organizational supply. The motor pool's mission is to provide organizational maintenance for all vehicles and commo equipment for the entire troop. Empty second platoon. Second platoon is divided in two sections, automotive armament and fuel and electrical, which include 41C, 44B, 44E, 45B, 45E, 45G, 63G, 63H, and 63WMOS. The mission of the above-mentioned personnel is to provide quality direct support in the areas of repair parts, generators, alternators and starters, recovery assistance, welding and machine shop assistance, and automotive repair. The automotive section provides direct support maintenance to the 11th Armored Cavalry Regiment and Allied units in support of the OPFR's daily mission. This entails repairing and replacing transmissions, steering gears, transfers, fuel injector pumps, differentials, engines, axles, and necessary gaskets and seals for various types of wheel vehicles. The above jobs are just a few of the tasks that the automotive section does to ensure that the OPFOR equipment returns to the battlefield as quickly as possible. The fuel and electric section provides support in the areas of repairing and replacing wiring harnesses, generators, alternators, starters, brake shoe linings, and the resurfacing of brake drums. In addition, the F and E section repairs and replaces fan towers, gear assemblies, and shocks for the M551 tank. The armament section provides support for the main turret, ballistic computers, laser ranger finders, and other armament controls for the Mon Aeon Abrams main battlefield tank, as well as the various small arms repair and aiming devices. Empty third platoon. Third platoon consists of ground support equipment repair, service and recovery, and the communications slash electronics shop, which include 35C35, E35, F35, and 52C, 52D, 63B, and 63J MOS. This platoon is usually referred to as third shift, third shop, because when mission calls they often work around the clock. The GSE section is tasked with the mission of repairing engineer equipment. GSE repairs and returns the equipment to the NTC battlefield. The communication slash electronics shop works around the clock to repair the regiment's radios. The special electronics devices section of the third platoon tirelessly maintains an BG for the regiment. They also ensure that all chemical agent monitors and navigational satellite systems are maintained. The service and recovery section has a continuous mission of providing recovery. They are trained to inspect a vehicle and, if possible, fix the vehicle on the spot so that it can continue its mission. But if that is not possible, then they are trained to recover the vehicle with any available means. There are no manuals written on how to recover a damaged vehicle. The manuals that exist only talk about the principles of recovery and the capabilities of each recovery vehicle. It is only by experience on the job that the soldier decides on how a vehicle will be recovered. The section is composed of 91 the Allied Trade Specialist. They are both a welder and a machinist. They can manufacture a functional part from a piece of metal or they can fabricate anything within the limitation of the equipment they have. Empty Fourth Platoon Maintenance Support Team MST Platoon's mission is to provide dedicated direct support maintenance. The MST Platoon is made up of two different MOS 63W Wheel Vehicle Repairer and 63Y Track Vehicle Mechanic. Supply and Transportation Troop The Supply and Transportation Troop, Regimental Support Squadron, 
11th Armored Cavalry Regiment, Fort Berwyn, California, provides support to the opposing force op for soldiers of the 11th Armored Cavalry Regiment. While supporting the soldiers of the op for with Class I food, Roman II heaters, chem lights, Roman III fuel, and Roman IV construction material, as well as all the transportation requirements needed on the NTC battlefield, S&T Troop will also provide a better quality of living for its soldiers and their families. There are four platoons headquarters slash supply, maintenance, petroleum, and transportation. The unit is responsible for the direct support of Class I ration breakpoint, Class Roman III bulk, and aviation fuel, Class Roman IV lumber, Class Roman VII major items, field services, and direct transportation support with light medium and heavy capability assets. Also, it is responsible for maintaining and issuing civilian vehicles in support of the OPFOR to replicate the presence of civilians on a battlefield COB. Supply Platoon S and T's Supply Platoon mission includes the Class I breakdown for each rotation, the issuing of COB VS prior to rotations and the issuing of Allied Fleet vehicle prior to rotation. The supply platoon consists of four 6K forklifts, over 50 COB VS, and over 25 Allied Fleet vehicles. In addition to all this, the supply platoon is the housing and issuing point for all regimental CL Roman IV. Transportation Platoon The SNT Transportation Platoon missions consist of transporting Class I, Roman II, Roman IV, V, and Class Roman IX. In addition to hauling that the transportation platoon is often tasked to haul tracked vehicles with their eight heavy equipment transport systems. Along with the eight HET systems, the transportation platoon has four PLS systems, 14 M931 tractors, 5 XM1098 3,000-gallon water tankers, and 22 M871 flatbed trailers. POL Platoon SNT's POL platoon mission consists of providing CL Roman 3B support for the regiment. This includes forward area resupply point FARP and refuel on the move ROM capabilities in order to support rotational CL Roman 3 requirements. The platoon consists of two M978 Hemp 10 ton 2500 gal fuel servicing trucks, eight M969 5000 gallon semi trailer tankers. 10 M931 5 ton truck tractors, and a 300k forward area refueling point system. Maintenance Platoon S&T's Maintenance Platoon's mission is to ensure that all of S&T's vehicles are fully mission capable and able to be utilized to execute all missions tasked down to S&T. This means that the maintenance platoon must maintain the operational readiness of eight heavy equipment transport systems in 1070 slash mon 1000 HET, 25 5 ton truck tractors M931s, 22 M871 trailers, 5 X M1098 3000 gallon water tankers, 8 M969 5 Headquarters and Headquarters Detachment, Task Force Pale Horse. Headquarters and Headquarters Detachment. Task Force Pale Horse provides world class observer controller slash trainers OC slash TS. Task Force Pale Horse works directly with Operations Group at the National Training Center to assist in meeting the training requirements for the Rotational Training Unit RTU. All permanent party members of Task Force Pale Horse spend countless hours in training and are required to be subject matter experts SME in Combined Arms Maneuver CAM, Wide Area Security was Operations, the respective combination of CAM slash was Unified Land Operations, and Global Insurgency Tactics, Techniques, and Procedures T. Task Force Pale Horse provides invaluable feedback to units through professional after-action reviews and written reports in support of 10 National Training Center rotations a year. On order, Task Force Pale Horse deploys as military advisors to foreign nations to aid with military training, organization, combat operations, and other various military tasks. Task Force Pale Horse has earned an Army-wide reputation for developing and producing highly lethal and top-tier leaders. The name Pale Horse has its genesis in Revelation 6, 
eat, and I looked, and behold a pale horse, and his name that sat on him was Death. Leaders are hand-picked from throughout the army to fill the ranks of the task force, all of which are combat-proven, highly motivated, and masters of the profession. Because of this per capita task force pale horse has the highest concentration of combat infantry badges CIB, combat action badges CAB, and prestigious awards for service in combat than any other unit within the regiment. Current Order of Battle 11th Armored Cavalry Regiment 1st Squadron 11th Armored Cavalry Regiment Combined Arms Squadron 2nd Squadron, 11th Armored Cavalry Regiment Combined Arms Squadron. 1st Battalion, 144th Field Artillery Regiment CA Arm. Support Squadron, 11th Armored Cavalry Regiment. Campaign Participation Credit. Gallery, 